The binary search tree find algorithm is very similar to the traditional binary search algorithm that we can do on sorted arrays. Basically, we start at the root, and if whatever query element we're looking for is equal to my current node, I've successfully found my node, so I would succeed, return true. Otherwise, if what I'm looking for is not equal to the current node, but it's greater than the current node, I would traverse right and repeat exactly what I just did. So the thought process here is that because every node in the right subtree is larger than any current node, if my query is larger than my current node, I would not expect to find it in my left subtree. I would only expect to find it in my right subtree. Similarly, if my query is less than the current node, I would traverse left and repeat this process. So the logic here, again, because every node in a given node's left subtree is less than that node, and every node in a given node's right subtree is greater than that node, if my query is less than my current node, I would not expect to see it in my right subtree, so I should just check my left subtree. If I ever try to traverse left or right when I'm doing either of these two steps, but there is no such child, then I would fail. So let's start with a simple example. Let's look for the node 20. So if I'm looking for the node 20, I would start at the root. 20 is not equal to 50. So I have to check, oh, well, 20 is less than 50. So according to step four, I should traverse left and then repeat. Is 20 equal to 20? Yes, it is. Therefore, I've succeeded. I found 20. Let's try looking for 25. I start at the root. 25 is not equal to 50, so I don't succeed yet. 25 is less than 50, so I should traverse left and start over. Is 25 equal to 20? No, it's not. 25 is greater than 20, so I should traverse right and repeat. Is 25 equal to 25? Yes, it is. Therefore, I've succeeded. What if I'm looking for the node, maybe I'm looking for the element uh, 60. I start at the root. Is 60 equal to 50? No, it's not. 60 is greater than 50, so I should traverse to the right subtree. Is 60 equal to 70? No, it's not. Therefore, I should, uh, 60 is less than 70, therefore I should check the left subtree. But uh-oh, 70 doesn't have a left child. Therefore, 60 cannot exist in this tree. And one last one, let's try looking for the number five. Is five equal to 50? No, it's not, it's less than, it's less than 50, so I traverse left. Is five equal to 20? No, it's not, it's less than 20, so I traverse left. Is five equal to 10? No, it's not, it's less than 10, so I traverse left. Uh-oh, there's no left child. Therefore, five cannot exist in this tree.